we have a couple days to get everybody together, get them ready? What kind of things are you going to do with them to get them ready for, for the weekend? Um, you know, I think today we, we had an organizational meeting where uh, Kevin and uh, Lindy talked, and it kind of aligned with, obviously it's a really short tournament, but I think it's the first time for the guys to establish, you know, how, how do we want the Buffalo Sabres to play in the identity that we want to have uh, within the organization. And I, uh, we had a quick meeting today uh, about some things of, you know, how we wanted to play. Obviously, it's a really short tournament, but just the habits and details and the standards that we want to have within the organization. So I thought we had a really good day today at practice. Coming in this, you know, first year as the head coach of Rochester, how beneficial is it for you to start get this, you know, weekend to really start working with some of these guys? Yeah, no, it was, uh, you know, we had meetings last week. It was a bit surreal, you know, excited. Obviously, uh, Lindy's been around a long time, but it's an unbelievable group of people. And, you know, I think uh, the my belief system aligns with a lot of, uh, of what they want to do here. And, uh yeah, it was a really good week, and uh, just excited to get into the games and another practice tomorrow. Yeah, it's the week. It's a guy, obviously, he stood out. You know, his first two seasons. Just watching film of him, of him talking to him. Just, what have you learned about him as as a player, as a young man? I guess. I think first is you know you obviously the on ice, but the character of the individual is uh, just meeting him. This was my first time, but. Um, especially on video, he could really shoot it, and just to to be on the ice level, um, his compete, the way he could protect pucks. Uh, he's got a really quick release, and obviously, um, you know what he's done in his first two years. Um, you know he's right there, and he, he had a really good day today. What's this like to have five first round picks out there for for this guy? Yeah, it was it was a little bit uh, back in my time at USA. Obviously, with the you know old five group, we had a you know the talent and the uh, obviously the talents there, but I was I really liked today the the compete level of the the guys staying on pucks, the efforts. Uh, you know, I, I thought all of them had a really good day. Obviously, the plays that are being made, uh, the puck movement. Sometimes you lose the puck how quick they're moving it, but yeah, a lot of talent on the ice for sure. What, the way you want to play as a team. What are some of the qualities you want to see? Yeah, I think uh, my philosophy is hard, smart, and fast. Like, that's the way I, I believe the game is played. Um, the identity of uh, out-competing the other opponent. Um, that's kind of, you know, who I am as a person, wired, uh, fortunate to play for a lot of really good coaches and um, really important to have good habits and details. So if a team's watching our team play, that's a really hard team to play against, and that's the way I want us to be. Kalik and Rosé in here the last couple of years. And like you say, Kalik, it's right there. These are two guys who have a lot of billing, their first-round picks. They've had a lot of AHL experience. They might be standouts for the Amherst again this year. Maybe they crack this club at some point early on. I mean, what kind of messages do you want to give them early on in camp about just going out and doing their thing and not you know, succumbing to all the outside stuff and what they're, whatever they're thinking too? Yeah, no, I, I think it's about control what you can control. You can't control, you know, uh, line up decisions and things like that. All, all they can control is have a really good day at practice tomorrow and, you know, try to be the best players in the tournament. Obviously, those guys have, have done it before, and I think that's the biggest thing is uh, just focus on uh, what you can control and, you know, things play out the way they're supposed to. Lindy talks about Constance's mature game, just – Watching film and seeing him up close, you know, in July and even today, just what stood out about him? Yeah, just his, uh, even watching him yesterday, like his ability to uh, see the game. Obviously, his hockey sense is, is really good. Um, I probably was more just in tight areas, the corners, so just his ability to protect pucks and get over pucks and make the next play. And um, obviously, an exceptional talent, and he had a really good day today. Made on the backhand to Ratzliff at that end of the ice. Did you happen to see that? No, I didn't. So it was it was pretty unbelievable. But I think it shows what we've seen. He's a guy. He's small. He's still got to grow. Who is that? I'm sorry. Uh, Osland. Oh yeah, yeah. He's yep. small. He's got to grow, but the hands and just the puck control. Yeah, that. he's another one. You know, I've you watch the players on the video, but you know, seeing him live in person, I he had the puck on his stick a lot today. His puck yeah. protection, low center of gravity. 
I thought he had a really good day. The one thing I was probably most impressed with was, you know, the going from the meeting about the habits and details, staying on pucks, and then you watch him at practice today. Every loose puck, he was on it. So I, I thought he had a great day. What has your process been really since development camp in particular and, and learning the players that you're going to have in Rochester? I mean, video, I'm sure that Vinny and Nathan have been a resource. Can you just walk us through that a little bit? Uh, yeah, it's, um, you know, I first uh, having – you know, it's my first go around at pro hockey. You know, I'm a young coach. I'm 36 years old. Uh, could be overwhelming at times, you know, but having Vinny and Pacer, getting to know them, two guys that have played at the highest level, understands how the pro game works, and they've been unbelievable. Like, I, I, I couldn't handpick two better guys that I get to work with every day. And then, you know, a lot of the, obviously, um, I think Seth and I have a lot of belief system. You know, you're your own coach, and – you know, I think a lot of it is the same, but also I got to come in and be myself, my thoughts, and 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 you know maybe a few things on practice drills, meeting times. But it's been great. It's it's been really good. And then a big thing for me was just to reach out to some of the players and and reach out to them and talk to them over the course of the summer and uh, getting to know them and who I am. And um, so it's been really good. Were you watching like last season's games, just watching shifts? I mean, how is that? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm kind of a video uh, junkie, so I watch a lot of the playoff games. Um, you know, watching the younger players in the playoff games, obviously it's tighter checking, smaller rank, not as much time and space, and you really get to see young kids play in a, a really intense competitive environment. So, yeah, a lot of video, a lot of their, you know, the when they played junior hockey, like Hellenius when he was, you know, world juniors, uh, just a bunch of guys. So a lot of video, a lot of phone calls, and then also enjoying time with my family.